the village. What do you want? Information. Whose side are you on? That would be telling. We want information. 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 You won't get it. By hook or by crook, we will. Who are you? The new number two. Who is number one? You are number six. I am not a number. I am a free man. <laughs> from the General's Department. Will all students taking the three-part history course please return to their dwellings immediately? The professor will be lecturing in approximately 30 minutes. I will repeat that. This is a special announcement from the General's Department. Repeat, from the General. Will all students taking the three-part history course return to their dwellings immediately? Wait a minute. Another coffee, please. Sorry, sir, we are closing. You did hear the announcement, sir? About the professor. I'm not one of his students. One coffee, sir. Two credit units, if you please. You're never too old to learn, sir. Who told you that? The professor. No, sir. The general. The general. Best of luck with your exam, sir. Thank you. This is a special announcement from the general's department. Repeat, from the general. Will all students taking the three-part history course return to their dwellings immediately? The professor will be giving his lecture in 30 minutes. You don't believe it? A university level degree in three minutes. It's improbable, but not impossible. Nothing's impossible in this place. You should enroll number six. You'll find the professor most interesting. Really? With an extraordinary range of knowledge. The only subject that I'm interested in is um, getting away from this place. Exactly. Who are you? cog in the machine. And the general? Who are they after? The lead professor, I think. Why? 
You know professors. Absent-minded. Best of luck with your exams. All units, orange alert. Orange alert. All units, all posts, orange alert. Orange alert. A student? Who isn't? Are you prefects. What are you doing here? Playing truant. Come on, we'll give you a lift. Where to? Home. 100% entry, 100% tires. You know what the general said. Who's the general? Come on, you don't want to start the term with a black mark. All right, let's go. Get in, mister. Do you think he'll make it? Who's that? The professor. He's due to lecture in a few minutes. He'll make it. Great man, the professor. Treats lectures as though his life depended on it. All right, let's go. A significance far beyond the confines of this community. To quote our friend the professor, speed learn is nothing less than a revolution in educational technique. The latest figure shows a 72.4% enrollment in the three years and three minute history course. Many thanks and congratulations. I think we can promise the general that we will improve even on that figure. And now, someone who needs no introduction. Hello. Nice to be seeing you all again. My husband, the professor, has asked me personally to convey his apologies for detaining you for a few moments. As you know, the huge success of this course has put an added strain upon him, and he's just now completing the notes for the second lecture and she'll be with us shortly. Meanwhile, poor substitute though I am for my husband, to bring you up to date on our future program, the extracurricular seminar for postgraduate and advanced students will be held next week. Uh, excuse me. Right, thank you. Thank you, Madam Professor. Your husband is now ready to complete the lecture. We now take you over to the professor in his study. Best of luck with the exams. My apologies, ladies. I would like to say a brief word about speed learn. It is quite simply the most important, most far-reaching, most beneficent development in mass education since the beginning of time. A marriage of science and mass communication, which results in the abolition of years of tedious and wasteful schooling. A three-year course indelibly impressed upon the mind in three minutes. Impossible? That's what I said, until I was introduced to the general. And then I realized that not only was it possible, but that education was ready for a giant leap forward from the Dark Ages into the 20th and 21st centuries. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been a teacher for 30 years. Speedlearn has made me as obsolete as the dodo. 
and we're going to prove it. The subject of tonight's lecture is Europe since Napoleon, a hard, complicated six-month study. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax, watch the screen. We're going to cover it in 15 seconds flat. Up operations number six. Many thanks, ladies and gentlemen, and congratulations. Have you lost something? Not me, the professor. Oh. I believe you took a stroll on the beach. What beach? Poor old professor, losing his recorder with all his notes in it. You didn't see it, of course. What do you mean, something about uh, um, that big one? The professor is rather worried about it. Well, why don't you get a bench look at the wardrobe? as ever to leave us. Any more questions? I was thinking that a compromise could be arranged in exchange for the recorder. I wonder who has it. Enjoy the lecture. What lecture? It's a great experiment, number six. You can learn a lot. History is not my subject. Isn't it? When was the Treaty of Adrianople? September 1829. What happened in 1830? Greek independence was assured and guaranteed. By whom? Russia. France, Britain. Who is Bismarck's ally against Danish Prince Christian of Glücksburg? Frederick of Austenburg. He, like the German Bundestag, had never accepted the Treaty of London in 1852. Bismarck wanted war, but he wanted it waged by Prussia and Austria in alliance and not by the whole German Bund. He realized that a successful war against the Danes in 1864 would serve the same purpose as Cavour of Italy's entrance into the Crimean War, namely, namely that, that it would, would indicate future, future leadership and, and would, at the same time, raise Prussia's prestige. Very good. Ten out of ten. Don't underestimate yourself, number six. And don't underestimate me. Can I help you? When was the Treaty of Adrianople? September 1829. What happened in 1830? Greek independence was guaranteed. By whom? By Russia, France, and Britain. Who was Frederick of Austenburg? Bismarck's ally against the Danes under Prince Christian of Glücksburg. Frederick, like the Bundestag, had never adopted the Treaty of London in 1852. He, like Bismarck, would not... Curfew time, 15 minutes. Curfew time, 15 minutes. I can do for you. 
You want to get out of this place, don't you? So. Here's your passport. Number two offered you a deal, didn't he? Don't you trust him? I don't trust number two. I don't trust you. And I don't trust your tame professor. Who do you trust number six? Trust me. Join the club. Oh, uh, what was the Treaty of Adrianople? September 1829. Wrong. I said what, not when. You need some special coaching. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow villagers, students, this is the professor speaking. I have an urgent message for you. Being tricked. Speed learn is an abomination. It is slavery. If you wish to be free, there is only one way. Destroy the general. Learn this and learn it well. The general must be destroyed. Be nice again tomorrow. And what happened in 1878? 1878, Eastern Romania was declared an autonomous province of the Turkish Empire. <laughs> Word perfect, eh? <laughs> Best of luck with the exams. <laughs> no, I assure you there's no problem, sir. We're getting 100% cooperation from everyone, and I'm anticipating a truly exciting result. Oh, who, sir? Oh, the professor. Just a mild aberration, I assure you. A couple of days rest and adjustment. He'll be doing everything that we need. Yes, yes, I will keep in touch, sir, in the closest touch. Thanks, sir. Probably the most important human experiment we've ever had to conduct, sir. It's treated like a military exercise. Anything new on the professor yet? He is responding, sir. The doctor will be in to see you personally. Get over there and tell him to hurry things up. Yes, sir. No. No, I'll do it myself. Yes, sir. Frankly, sir, I think we're going the wrong way about it with him. You mean about the professor? We indulge his idiocies far too much. He's a crank and should be treated as such. You think so? I know he's the cornerstone of Speedler, but... Yes. I can't help feeling he's a troublemaker, and he attracts troublemakers. How long have you been with us, number 12? Me, sir. Quite a long time, sir. But obviously not long enough. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Number 12. Your opinions about the professor should be carefully guarded. Section 32, sound and vision. Put up section 32, sound and vision. How's it going, Professor? Please, I'm busy. Breaking the back of the next lecture. Please don't distract me. Very good. Very good indeed. I'm glad you approve. You mustn't overdo it. All right, nurse. I have to finish these notes. Yes, of course you do, and after a little rest and some mild therapy, then we have to work twice as fast. Back to the professor? No, the seminar. 
Right. Put up section 39, sound and vision. It's number six. Really, how many on? Can I help you? I don't know. Can you? Finding things a bit strange? That is the trouble. I can't find anything at all. What exactly are you looking for? What are we all looking for? Well, let's see now. That gentleman over there. What do you think he's doing? Tearing up a book. He's creating a fresh concept. Construction arises out of the ashes of destruction. And that woman? Standing on her head. She's developing new perspective. Really? Him? He's asleep. One learns only when the mind wants to not accept time. Uh, is that what your husband believes? It's self-evident, surely. What's your subject? What's yours? Nothing. Modern art. Really? What do you think of this? Not altogether flattering. So art's your subject too? Oh, no, no. Military history, uh, generals and uh, that kind of thing. I'm afraid you may be wasting your time. What a pity. I understood that your husband was quite an authority on the subject. He may be, but I'm not. Oh. Creation out of destruction. Number six out of vision. Scan. Scan. It's a private room. Interesting view from here. Who are you? A spy? How long have you been in this place? I don't have to answer your questions. Kindly leave. The whole house is most elegant. Books, paintings, and a very beautiful garden. The professor and I have certain privileges. As prisoners or as warders? We came here voluntarily. We have everything we need. We're perfectly happy. Doing what? My husband is a teacher. He teaches. Oh, yes, indeed. And you, uh, are the artist. The last time I'm asking you to leave. Studies from life? Rough exercises. Very good. You really have a, um, considerable talent. What are you looking for? I would have thought that with all these privileges, we might find at least one study of, uh, the general. <laughs> 
It's really not a bad likeness, is it? You playing truant? I uh, was just um, doing a little homework. I didn't ask him. I found him. You don't have to explain, my dear. Number six and I are old friends. I can recommend him as a thoroughly zealous student with the tendency to overdo it. How's the professor? Cooperating. I've given him some sedation. Has he been overdoing it too? Probably a bit excited. You know your husband, my dear, this speed learn. He's as enthusiastic as a child. Now he's sleeping like a babe. He's not to be disturbed. I wouldn't dream of it. Get out! Stop him! <laughs> You should take greater care of him, ma'am. He's gone to pieces. You are an odd fellow. I'm afraid you have the wrong end of the stick. Uh, I haven't. The doctor has. Just a minute. The offer I made you about the professor's notes. Really? It's cancelled. Is it? He's changed his mind. He doesn't need them now. Uh, that's extraordinary. Neither do I. Best of luck with your exams. Why don't you open the blinds? Let in some daylight. You've got nothing to hide, have you? I better want control. Don't warn anyone. But if you you do your job, I'll do mine. Ah, oh, my dear, I'm afraid he's made a bit of a mess of your masterpiece. What does he want? What some of us want, ultimately, to escape. He persists about the general. I shouldn't worry too much, my dear. I have an obsession about him myself. <laughs> Why it seems that everybody, and I do mean everybody, is falling all over themselves to enjoy the fruits of speed learning. Why not? A three-year course with three minutes. Madam, Tsar Nicholas I occupied the Danubian principalities. 1853. Absolutely correct, sir. When was Victor Emmanuel declared king of Italy in Turin? 1861. Absolutely correct again, sir. When was before the declared king of Italy? <laughs> ah, number six. What was the date of the Boer War? 1899, 1902. And in 1910? In 1910, the two Boer republics were incorporated into the Union of South Africa. Well done. Coming along nicely, number six. <laughs> Electrics. Over there, I think. Administration here, what's the trouble? This, sir. Deliberate short circuit across the contacts. Sabotage. That's punishment. We need a two-stroke D replacement, sir. Mm. All right, contact control. Get them to switch in temporary reserve. Very good, sir. Calling electrics control. This is some of your work. So, listen carefully. We have about 15 seconds. The professor's real lecture, the one you heard on the tape recorder. Would you like it to go out? I might. Take it. In the ink cylinder. Micro. Be careful. How? With these. Passes. When? Tomorrow. Where? I'll fix it. What an order, sir. I'll fix it, number six, so that you become aware that deliberate destruction of official property is a most serious offence. I must recommend the full penalty. Which is? It could be imprisonment, it could be a fine. I'll take the fine. Yes, I thought you might. Report to my office and administration tomorrow morning. Yes. Sir.
How is he, Doctor? Fine. Beautiful response. Will he be able to complete the lecture? Able and willing. approval session education proceed to pass pass ah you have them right here sir ready processed excellent summon the board Report sent to Oh, first class, sir. Splendid. Number two calling the general's office. The lectures have arrived. Full security alert. Yes, sir. Everything all right, sir? I don't know about the general, but I think I can say in advance that the experiment is going to be a hundred percent success. Lecture approval session, education. Proceed to pass. Number two for sublimator. Did the micro come through, sir? Transmission has been scheduled. Has this been cleared with the board? It will be. Prepare to transmit. Education board about to enter session. Hurry, please. Lecture approval session. Education, new member. Proceed to pass. Pass. Boardroom straight on. First right, first left. Straight ahead. You were nearly late. 90 seconds for session time. Board about to enter session in 87 seconds. without using the key. Second occasion is fatal. Session time in eight minutes. Your business, please. Lecture approval session. Education, new member. Proceed to pass. Pass. gentlemen for your confidence in the general and now to show our confidence in you we will give you a breakdown of the entire operation in confidence of course speed learn is the outcome of the general's prolific knowledge its basis is the student's confidence in a tried and trusted professor, and the professor's confidence in science.
Transmission will begin in approximately five minutes. Check in, please. Sound. General studio. Lecture studio. Telecine. Cameras. Projection. Projection. Will you clear, please? Projection! All clear. Standing by. All operatives clear. Stand by, please. Thus, the miniaturized course can be projected through the sublimator at a speed thousands of times faster than the eye can record. Transmission will start in two minutes. It is imposed directly onto the cortex of the brain and is, with occasional boosts, virtually indelible. Tonight's lecture, for instance, Transmission will commence in 60 seconds. And so much for the theory, gentlemen. Now for the practice. Final clearance, please. Sound studio. General studio. Lecture studio. Cameras. Projection. Telecine. Hold that picture. What picture, sir? Projection. Closer. Closer. He's cut his hand, sir. Poor old chap. Congratulations to the general. Good night to you all. Sweet dreams. Who were they, number six? Who let you in? What are their names? There's an organization, isn't there? Dissidents. Who's the head man? Santa Claus. Who's the head of the organization? You'd be wise to tell us. He won't tell you anything. He's a trained conspirator, a very hard man. This reactionary drivel that you were on the point of sending out to our conscientious students. The freedom to learn, the liberty to make mistakes, old-fashioned slogans. You are an odd fellow, number six, full of surprises. Two here. Ah, oh, yes, my dear, congratulations. The lecture went splendidly. You're pleased? Yes. Then may I see him? Of course. As soon as he's completed the first phase of the next installment, he's performing so well, it seems a pity to disturb him now. How long? Who can tell? But not long, my dear. He needs you. You'll let me know? Naturally, I'll let you know. Lovely woman. Warm, sympathetic. She'd talk him into anything to keep him alive. Good professor. Indeed. Such is the course of true love. Do you need him? They're both necessary. The one for the other. Even essential. Now, to the matter in hand. 
I'm sure that a man of your caliber will appreciate that rebels, that rebels must be kept under the closest possible surveillance with a view to their extinction if the rebellion is absolute. The professor? Oh, no, 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 not the professor. No problem. He has an adoring wife and an even more attentive doctor. No, no, a lovely fellow. People love him. They'll take anything from him. It's the image you see that is important, the kindly image, the general's office, if you please. You see, my dear chap, he won't answer our questions, but the general can answer anything, given the basic facts. Uh, ah, yes. Yes, it all went splendidly, delighted, absolutely delighted. Uh, just a slight problem for you. Mind if we come round? Thank you, right away. The general awaits us. We shall soon know what's what. Plato, Aristotle, Voltaire, Rousseau, and the rest, they're all here, all available to the general. There is no question, no question from advanced mathematics to molecular structure, from philosophy to crop spray. The general cannot answer. his own work. He gave birth to it and loves it with a passionate love. Probably hates it even more. That mass of circuits, my dear fellow, is as revolutionary as nuclear fission. No more wastage in schools, no more tedious learning by rote. A brilliantly devised course, delivered by a leading teacher, subliminally learned, checked, and corrected by an infallible authority. And what have we got? row of cabbages. Indeed. Knowledgeable cabbages. What sort of knowledge? For the time being, past history will have to do, but shortly we shall be making our own. Napoleon could have used it. Professor? Come here. Take down a problem for the general. An illustration of infallibility. Point one, a traitor in the village. Point two, security pass discs were issued to number six. Point three, access to these is through... To where? Through where? Administration, sir. Exactly. Put that down. Also, that number 12 is an official in administration. Now, ask the general. A question that can't be answered. What's that? There is a question that the general cannot answer. Impossible. Allow me to ask it. No. Are you afraid? Go ahead. Excuse me.
insoluble for man or machine. What was it? W-H-Y. Question mark. Why? 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 